Hi, I'm Constance Alvear and I will present electromyographic analysis of maximal voluntary contraction of female pelvic floor muscles. This was a study of test, retest and interrated reliability. We had the support of CAPES and FAPEMIC. Due to the influence of methodological factors, the reliability of the surface electromyography analysis needs to be determined for adequate clinical use and interpretation. The aim of the study was to investigate the test, retest, and interrated reliability of the surface electromyography of the female pelvic floor muscles through visual determination of the onset and offset of the maximum voluntary contraction of the female pelvic floor muscle. So we had three repetitions of the maximal voluntary contraction recorded in five seconds each, separated by 60 seconds of resting baseline. Test, retest, and interrated reliability were evaluated by two independent raters through visual inspection, considering for a statistical analysis integral and medium frequency uh, of electromyographic signals. The visual determination of the onset and offset of each maximal voluntary contraction was analyzed through the interclass correlation coefficient, analysis of variance with repeated measures, and effect size. The agreement of the qualitative visual analysis was classified as high, moderate, or low quality and analyzed it through Cohen's K coefficient. The quantitative analysis of the signals was analyzed through the signal noise rate. A statistical analysis was conducted using our project with a 95% of, of confidence interval. Uh, we had uh, 68 women and we exclude 10 of them. So we had uh, a total of 58 women with an average of uh, age of 54. And of the total, 22 data were considered of high quality by the two raters, while only five were considered of low quality. The cross analysis between raters showed a fair agreement it was also observed that the um, um, signal uh, noise radio decreases with the signal quality category. So we have uh, this table, table one, uh, regarding test, retest reliability, um, and medium frequency showed excellent values of ICC 2.1 and ICC 2.3, higher than the integral we show the reliability from acceptable to excellent. Both variables investigate here exhibit higher values of ICC 2.3 than ICC 2.1, with estimates ranging from excellent to acceptable. For interrated reliability, no statistical evidence of difference between the three reputations was observed for both the integral and the medium frequency. An excellent rel reliability was observed for both variables, being higher for medium frequency than for the integral, and higher values of uh, ICC 2.3 than ICC 2.1. Our main results showed a reliability ranging from asset, uh, acceptable to excellent, both for single or aggregate measures of integral and medium frequency during pelvic floor muscle maximal voluntary contraction in women through the method of visual determination of the onset and offset of the contraction. Our findings also showed that the use of only one contraction of the three is acceptable so that both the uh, average of the three contractions and the use of the contraction can be used to assess the pelvic floor muscle myoelectric activity. 
based on our findings to assist in, a, in the evaluation of signal quality, quantitative tools should be used instead of qualitative evaluation due to fair agreement between raters. Qualitative visual analysis of the electromyographic signal is not recommended because it presents a fair agreement in the rater, although it reflects the signal to noise rate. All through the method of visual practice of the onset and offset of contraction is subjective, it is a practical method of for use in clinical practice. Based on our findings, can be recommended the use of the visual determination of the female pelvic floor muscle contraction, maximal contraction, onset and offset using the standard interface of the surface electromyography software for excellent reliability. Thank you.